Yo guys, what's up? It's MJK, uh, back for another video. Today, I guess it's kind of important, man, because it's our first rewards day heading into a Foot Champs Weekend League. Our first Weekend League of the year. Not too excited about it, not too thrilled. Uh, but of course, we're going to play it and we're going to actually hate ourselves for doing it. But anyway, this is our first Thursday flipping uh, opportunity, I guess, of the year. And I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm not too. I'm not too excited about it. Um, I don't think it's gonna be bad. Uh, it could. It could go one of two ways, right? The market could fly. The market could die. One of two ways. So, uh, with this video, we're gonna talk about kind of what my plan is. Why I think the market's not gonna fly. Um, we're gonna talk about little things like overinvestments, double dipping, stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, guys. If you like the video, please feel free to subscribe. We're really close to getting our own link at 100 subs. Crazy that, you know, we're kind of climbing pretty fast. But anyway, a like, a sub, anything's really appreciated, man. So without further ado, man, we are going to get right into the video. So these are some cars that we've been moving today, man. We bought two Suarez uh, at 130 and under. We still got a Holland we're trying to sell. Um, Harold Kane, uh, Gabby Jesus, you guys know I love this card. I bought two icons that we're going to look to get some lasers on, we bought a St. Max, a Goretzka, a Gabby Jesus, another Ronaldo Sanchez, um, and we have this Oshman. So, with that being said, guys, um, I'm a little bit worried about some cards, uh, preferably in particular the meta golds, right? Your Gabby Jesus, your Martials, your 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 Sons, your Sanes, your your cards like that, right? Um, a lot of people are saying to invest in cards like that because there's not much other stuff to invest in, right? We only have maybe 20 or so meta special cards that are worth, you know, flipping and, and, and buying and, and putting into people's teams. So what I think is it might be another kind of situation that we had last week where the market took, realistically took a shit on itself, right? And it went way down on the Thursday. But also guys, a lot of people, I don't know if we're failing to forget or what, but it's just division rivals rewards. You know what I mean? We're not getting weekend league rewards. We're not getting packs and a coin supply. We're getting either packs, a coin injection, or untradeables, right? So with that being said, right, people are still going to be buying teams for weekend league. People already have their teams. People are going to be selling stuff. People are, are are panicking. All this, all this stuff, it all comes together at once, right? And it and it jumbles and it jumbles and, and it starts to go down because people panic, right? But as soon as people start to panic, they realize, oh shit. Well, hey, now I don't have a team. Or oh, great, I, I sold my I sold my Richarlison. Now I have to buy someone, and they say, oh, well, I have 300k. Let me go buy a Gabby Jesus. Let me go buy a Tony Marcial. Let me go buy a Rodrigo. You know what I mean? So I think tomorrow what we're we're gonna see happen is is is, is we're gonna see a little bit of a downward trend in the morning, like we're seeing right now, right? The market just kind of went way down today, and then I think tomorrow afternoon NA, so nighttime uh, UK is when the market's gonna start to rise again. And I think it'll rise into Friday and you know Saturday day, and then probably Sunday, Sunday night start to go down a little bit. Um, but so so on the overinvestment piece, one thing that I'm really, really, really excited to look at tomorrow is the prices of OTWs. Um, I think the ones to watch team one is really, really good. I think it's got a lot of investment opportunity and potential. Uh, and I'm very interested in this guy in particular, right? This guy, man, Alex Tellez, is 135K. Well, he was 135. He's 135K, this guy. If this guy dips below 120, I'll go all in. And the grand, I have 380K, right? But realistically, I got about 2.5 mil. I'll go all in, right? If I, if I wake up tomorrow and stuff sold overnight, I'll go all in. I love this guy, and I think they're going to go lower tomorrow, man. Especially with... With pack supplies from um, pack supplies from uh, from 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 rewards from marquee mashups, like I, I I think that there's going to be some room to buy cards. I love this guy too. The Premier League hasn't seen this guy play yet, right? This guy is insane, man. I know he's not the great in FIFA, but he's such a such a great card. And I think one in form, two in form, that this guy's going to go. Uh, Gareth Bale, man, guys, we know the floor, the the ceiling is the roof with Gareth Bale, right? Like this guy, man. If he starts, right, and apparently Harry Kane's injured, if he starts, he bags a goal, bags an assist, this guy's going to take off. So I think this guy under 250 tomorrow, I love this card, man. I, I, I'd buy another one. Uh, but realistically, guys, I mean, I mean, I think it, the term double dip is one that I like to use a lot, right? And the term double dip 
is basically buying stuff for Thursday night flips, right? For buying stuff on Wednesday, Tuesday, selling on Thursday, you know, and then buying back in again after the rewards have been open and cards are starting to get listed on the market. That's one thing that I like to do a lot. So that's really what I'm, my plan is to do with, with, with some of these um, ones to watches and, and also some of these informs. I think we'll see some decent deals tomorrow. And I think the meta guys, men are just going to start to really continue to go up like the St. Max's all and stuff like that. Um, but realistically, I, I, I'm a little bit worried, man, about, about, about the supply or not the supply, uh, the supply, obviously with packs, with the lower tier stuff, but the overinvestment, man, I, I think a lot of cars are going to be overinvested in. I think we're going to see, you know, the same thing that we kind of saw last week, maybe not a full on crash. But definitely a dip, man. And I think until, like I said earlier, until we have enough special cards in the game that people can pick and choose and kind of get creative with their Thursday night flips and investments, uh, I still think that a lot of stuff, man, everyone's going to have, right? Everyone's going to have. The market was so high yesterday and it started to come down today because people started to panic sell a little bit. Um, but I guess just a future piece that we could touch on is icons, man. I love to buy icons for Thursday flips, especially if you get them on their lower trends, man. These guys fly. So these are really fun to pick up. I uh, picked up just two. I think Ashley Cole, I know he's not that good, man, but Timmy and Jimmy don't know that, right? Timmy and Jimmy love Ian Wright, baby. The 91 pace, they love it. So I think these guys are, will do pretty good. I listed them right now for lazies. I'll probably adjust the prices a little bit. I got them at really good deals, so I'm happy with that. Um, but but realistically, guys, I, 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 I if you can get one of these guys tomorrow at rewards, you can get a St. Max, you know, just from Panic. I love them. I, I, I'm really interested to see, you know, some of the higher tier icons too, how they react. Because I was going to spend two million on icons, but I said, you know what, I might as well get in on some some more fun cards. But cards like Rio took a pretty big dip today. You know, he was at he was under 900 today. Sadorf jumped off the map. Sadorf was Sadorf was over 850 today, which is crazy. Garincha is just astronomically high. A lot of these icons, man, are flying, and I think I think they're going to continue to go up with uh with with foot champs going on and with people getting stronger teams and more rewards and, and, and more coins like a guy like baby blanc man look at this price it's insane it, it, it's crazy and realistically until we get icon of species and swaps man they're only going to continue to go up um but yeah guys i i i'm just a little bit worried man i i think it's going to be really oversupplied i think we might see another mini crash not a crash but a dip um but I am just looking forward to getting out of the rivals only rewards and getting back to weekend league rewards, man. Because when people are getting 75, 80, even 50K per week plus packs and, and reds, man, it makes it so much more profitable to flip. And I just think with the new age of the new age of Patreon and, and paid services and all this kind of stuff, it makes finding deals really difficult. And it makes investing in unique stuff even more difficult, right? That's why I some that's why I like some of these, you know, different ones to watch this. I mean, like 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 the Zyde, for instance, right? That's why I like some of these cards, man, because I'm trying to I'm trying to beat the Patreon, right? Where obviously a lot of these cards I have are meta. And the the patrons are gonna know the meta, obviously, right? But it's just getting in at the right time, man. It's trying to be smart, trying to trying to predict things, trying to get make the right call. And we're not gonna make the right call every time, man. We're gonna fuck up here and there. We're gonna mess up our calls. We're gonna lose coins. We're gonna take some L's, but we're also gonna make a lot of coins, man. We have made a lot of coins so far this year. Um, so overall, I'm not expecting a giant rise, man. Just like I'm not expecting a giant crash. I expect the market to go more up towards the afternoon and evening tomorrow. I don't really expect it to fly too much during the day. Uh, but anyway, I mean, guys, we've made like close to a mil this week. So we're, we're, really, we're doing really good. I said I was gonna send it for y'all. We're sending it on Twitch. We're doing really well. We're really excited. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, that's going to be it for me today. We just had a banging stream. Uh, so that was great. I appreciate everyone that came through, everyone that's subbing to YouTube. Um, but like I said, guys, just be careful, all right? Don't 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 invest too many of your coins in things that aren't very high rated, things that might get over-invested in, things that might get packed a lot, right? Um, I think I'm going to focus more on my coins and specials wants to watch his informs icons stuff like that stuff that isn't going to be as invested and as saturated on the market uh but another piece guys just don't panic sell man there's no reason to panic sell going into the first week in league of the year right if the market goes down man so be it right so be it it's going to come back up right it's going to go back up uh especially when people start getting multiple sets of rewards it's going to go back up so stay strong keep making coins man don't panic don't do anything stupid 
Well, I mean, if you can do so, some stupid stuff, you make coins on it. But try to be smart and just do the best you can, man, because we have a long way to go, all right? If you lose coins in the first weekend league and you get discouraged, don't worry about it, man. We got plenty more to go. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Thank you guys for watching the streams, doing all that stuff. Um, feel free to like and comment and comment like who you guys bought, what you guys are thinking, you know, in terms of the over oversupply of investing and all that stuff. But anyway, guys, thanks again for watching the video. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow, man. Later.